what is going on senpai squad welcome back to a brand new video today we're doing something extremely different today we're going to be taking a look at these bad boys and we're going to be ranking each one from best to worst in my opinion of course based off the cover art because i'll be 100 honest when i come to buying a volume nine times out of ten the cover art is genuinely all i look for They're like a collectible item to me i adore manga art especially volume covers so it's a little bit of a weird obsession i've got and i thought you know what let's put that and boruto together with youtube and we'll rank our favorites in order of best to worst or in this case worst to best so as of right now, there's eight Boruto volumes out. I believe volume nine comes out in a couple months. I unfortunately only have four of them as of right now. Not all of them are out in English and the others I just, I haven't got yet. Uh, so we'll go over starting from number eight. And so starting off with what I believe to be by far the worst volume cover, unfortunately, because it actually features my favorite character in the entire series. And that has to go to volume seven. Now, Kawaki. Quacky, I, I adore you. I love you. I think you're you're near perfect and I want to protect you. But Ikimoto gave you such a goddamn bland and boring volume cover that it, it is unbelievable. If I wasn't collecting the Boruto volumes, I would not be buying this. I'm not going to buy this like stick up on a shelf because it just, just doesn't look that interesting. When you compare it to the chapter cover we got of Kawaki, then... There's no competition whatsoever, at least with the chapter cover. Ikimoto decided to give you some, like, particle effect as a backdrop. He gave you something, whereas with this bar with this volume cover, it's just... It's so bland and boring, in my opinion, that I just... I have no choice but to give it the rank of the worst volume cover so far. Now, this next one follows a similar-ish trend. It is also slightly boring, but I'm going to go with it, and that is for volume number five. Now, again, with Kawaki, it's just... It's very bland. However, the reason I put it above Kawaki's is because... At least Ikimoto had a, an ounce of creativity with this one because it's the volume cover that is the start of the hour arc. And so what did Ikimoto do? Well, he, he did a little bit of creative genius here and there and he actually changed the colour palette of Boruto's clothing to be blue. And ow in English means blue. So it's something subtle but... It's enough for me to place it above that Kawaki one. Right, well, now they started to get a little bit more tricky, but I'm going to go with one that I've actually got right here, and that is Volume 3. Now, this cover, I think it's more creative. He gave a background to it. We've got more than just one character. Uh, but the thing I don't like about it is, and especially looking at it now, I mean, for a start, Sarada. Sarada, what are you doing? What, what, what are you... Why? Why? What what are you doing? Ikimoto, explain yourself. Now, I'm not one of those huge people who's like extremely triggered by the way Sarada is drawn in the manga, but on this cover, it is it's just a no from me, sir. And I also don't like about the extremely round faces Ikimoto sometimes gives them. I don't know why he gives Baruto and Sarada these really super chubby round baby faces sometimes. It doesn't make sense. I do not like it artistically. It's a much bigger improvement on the other two that I mentioned. However, compared to some of the rest, it's still my uh, my third least favourite volume. And yeah, it's volume number three as well. You know what? This video sounded a lot better in my head. But on to the next one. We've got another one which I have in person. That's volume four. Now, I actually quite like this and this little middle section of the video was a, a really tough one to pick out however what the reason i'm gonna go with this one is just because boruto seems a little bit out of place i like that sasuke's on it i think sasuke is the main thing i like about it because i'm a big sasuke fanboy what can i say but it's a decent cover still a, a skyrocketing improvement on number five and seven which is odd because this came before those two volumes so it begs the question ikimoto what were you thinking 
but on to the next one. Now, unfortunately, despite I believe being out in English now, I don't have this volume, that's volume six. Now, I don't like this chubby baby face with Boruto. I've already, I've already gone over that, but I do love the inclusion and what he did with Ao and Kashin Koji in the background because this is the first time I think, I think actually no, my, minus maybe Momoshiki. I think Momoshiki was definitely on one of them coming to that one a little bit later, but it was the, our first Kara member at least to feature on a volume cover. So that's bonus points in and of itself. But the way that it's been displayed, I like having Kashin Koji at the top, out at the bottom, especially, and I don't know if this actually took place in this chapter, but when you think about how like Kashin Koji killed Ao, you know, from the top with the toad dropping onto him, I don't think that that's been done on purpose. I think I'm looking, looking into that a little bit too deeply, but, it's still something which I saw and I appreciated it. Right, so this this next one's a controversial one because I asked a couple of people what they thought and this volume cover was, by most people, one of their least favourites and that's volume 8. Now, I can sort of understand where they're coming from. Delta, I personally think Delta looks really, really good in this volume cover. The thing that throws me off the most is actually Naruto. I think he's really oddly placed proportion wise and how it matches up with delta i actually think it'd be better without him or if he was positioned differently something a bit like how cash and koji in the previous one he was sort of like behind boruto if something like that was maybe with naruto in the background and something like that it's just he looks really weird he looks like he's fighting trying to fight delta while she's just lying there and it Visually, I don't think it matches up, but Delta I think looks really good. But from two things I've got to add, which one, well, the main one, Delta using sex appeal on the volume cover. That, that's fine. She does have some. She has an, an element of it. However, she doesn't use that at all in the story. Not once has she tried to use sex appeal to her advantage or strike a sexy pose or anything like that. So why is she doing it on a volume cover? If she was angry and furious, I could understand that because guess what? She is angry and she is furious in the actual chapters. But this bloke, I, I, I don't quite get it, but I think it looks good. So that leaves us with just two remaining. And I think it's safe to say that Ikimoto definitely peaked early because this next one I'm gonna give to volume one. Now, I personally, I really like this volume because not only is it volume one, so it's got a sentimental aspect to it, but I think the picture on the cover just looks great. He's used every last bit of detail really available to him. Not many white blank spaces, which is good. That's brilliant. That's what I want from a cover. It's not quite Kishimoto where Kishimoto literally uses like every last centimeter on the page to as his canvas but it's good i like the tree in the background because it, it obviously konoha i like how we've got all of team seven on the front they've got little creatures on there as well we've got a bird a cat and a lizard now again if there's any symbolism there with any potential future summonings then then that's just crazy i don't know but if that is the case then oh my days but still a great cover and finally on to my favorite one now this one is what i want going forward by far my favorite volume cover of all of Boruto has to go to volume two this is gorgeous this is such a good volume now i'm not a huge fan of ikimoto's art i've publicly announced that plenty of times that i'm not a huge fan of his art style most of the time but this this is beautiful momoshiki looks gorgeous he like i was saying with the previous one he took it to a new level with this one he's used almost every centimeter again of the cover as his canvas that's what i want it's a complete opposite of what we've got with that kawaki and that other boruto one it looks stunning Momoshiki looks fantastic. He looks villainous. He looks evil. We've got Naruto and Boruto both there, obviously with the Rasengan. It is a, it's a stunning cover. The only thing I wish we could have got is if we got a cover similar to that, but with Momoshiki's fused form. 
if that was the case, you have yourself a winner. But maybe there's potential for that in the future because, you know, Momoshiki, his story's not over yet. I refuse to believe it. I'm sure we're going to see Fuse Momoshiki, maybe not Fuse Momoshiki in the present, but maybe in a flashback at some point. And I want to see it on a cover. Could we see that? Oh, just the prospect of it is making me excited. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're not already to become a member of the Senpai Squad. Leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. Like I said, a very, very different, more chilled out, relaxed video today. Talking about one of the things which I personally just love and hopefully some of you share that same type of love. Uh, what's your favourite and least favourite volume cover as well? Leave that in the comment section down below. It'll be interesting to see if we have similar opinions. But I'll be seeing you guys in another video. But until then, as always, peace. <laughs> まだ見ぬ定め近づいてくる気仙